I believe in respecting others for who they are. My parents taught me how to be a polite person when I was a little girl. I respect parents, teachers, relatives, friends, and others in my life. There was no doubt my parents were the first teachers in my life. They taught me when you meet relatives in a party, you have to talk first. For example, I had to say how are you first instead of relatives to say that. Moreover, you could not sit down until relatives sit down. When someone gave me a gift, I had to say thank you. When I made a mistake, I had to say sorry, it's my fault. I remember once I called with my mother. My father said, "You cannot speak loudly to your mother. They want your mom to care of you for everything." From then on, when I have troubles, I would like to talk with my parents. It would be a hard, hard talking. In addition, my father told me a famous Chinese story. The story said. A little boy gave a big tear to his father. Long, long time ago, his father has three children. A little boy is most smart. One day, his father bought one bag of tears to him and his brothers. His father gave him a big tear. A little boy said, "No, no, no! A big tear should give parents." I pick small one that be fine. His father was happy because he respects parents. I remember the story until now. I respect friends. During that time, I made a friend who taught me secrets. I never taught her secrets to others because I respect her. And I respect her parents. We kept relationships for twelve years. Once I asked her a question, "Why have you told me many secrets?" She said, "I trust you." She asked me, "Why did you never tell another person about my secrets?" I said, "I respect you." I respect old people. Children, colleagues, and customers. In China, taking a bus is very convenient for students as they go to school. When I saw old people and children in the bus, I would get out my seat to give it to them. I did a part-time job in China. I respected my colleagues when we did a good job in teamwork. In addition, I respected my customers. The manager said, "Customers are God." I learned that respecting customers, they would feel my service was good. Then they would buy stuff. We reach a winning situation of business. Indeed, I respected others. Others would respect me too. I believe in respecting others for who they are.